Welcome everyone back to another episode of Macro Crypto, where we talk about anything and everything involving the crypto space. And today we're jumping into decentralized finance and more specifically extending our talk into Olympus DAO and Klima DAO that we had about a week ago. If you do enjoy the content, like the video, subscribe to the channel and head over to our Twitter page at Macro Crypto Club and give us a follow. Like always, link will be down in the description. Also want to point out that none of this content today is financial advice. Do your own research at the end of the day. I'm here for pure entertainment purposes only, giving you a perspective on some very volatile and risky assets. But at the end of the day, your research, it's your decision on what's best for your investment portfolio. So with that being said, let's dive into the Olympus DAO protocol and talk about why that is such a potential huge play for the future and why I'm so excited about this protocol in general. Basically, we are diving into Olympus Pro, as you see in front of you. It is a product of Olympus DAO. It had its best month in January since launch, and it's basically trying to solve the yield farming crisis of liquidity coming in and out so quickly within a 48-hour period. Typically, on average, 70% of all liquidity is out of a yield farming, leaving people getting wrecked along the way. So they're trying to solve that issue. We'll take a deeper dive in what exactly Olympus Pro is doing, especially when we get more data on how it is, how much revenue it's creating um, each month throughout 2022. Okay. Now, as we head over to CoinGecko, for anybody, a little bit of some safety tips, but also um, uses that will be beneficial to you. I use CoinGecko. You can use CoinMarketCap or some other different. Uh, marketplaces, but basically I use it CoinGecko for the links. I know they're safe. I can click on this and take me right to Olympus DAO. I have the contract address that I can copy. It also can copy to MetaMask. And then I also have a bunch of different community links that will I know that are safe and that I'm not going to uh, click a wrong link that will take me to someone that's trying to take my funds. And we'll go over how that can happen through a Google search a little later through Klima DAO. Now, also, the uh, current price is at $76.26, which is actually a very solid price considering where we have, were 10 days ago with our all-time low of $59.73. So that's a 27% increase. Not as much as when we made this video about seven days ago, but this is still an opportune time, in my opinion, to consider an investment position into Olympus Dow, especially where this protocol is heading over time. Now, we do want to go head back into Olympus Dow and further understand this protocol. We are going to double up on some of the topics that we talked about within the first video because the more I discuss it, the more I continue to learn, even though I think I already know it, it's just going to help me. And I think it's also going to help you hearing it twice if you've watched our previous video. For you new, this is going to be an op um, awesome opportunity for you to further understand why Olympus has such a high um apy currently their apy is at 851 if you've known that's actually a low apy comparison to where they've been but we want that apy to stabilize we want that to cont or continue moving down because of in that that means the price of ohm is moving up okay so over time the higher that apy goes that means the price of ohm's going down so the stabilization is a huge factor for us uh, moving forward, always remember this market cap used to be at a nice four, a little over four billion during its all time high. So that's going to be interesting to keep an eye on is this market cap on how um, much money is flowing back into Ohm. Also, the Ohm price is currently sitting at $76.54, a little bit higher than we just saw on Coin uh, Gecko. I didn't refresh it. Uh, the backing is a little bit lower than I think the last time we discussed during this video at $52.54. And then the current index, the index is what is rebased every eight hours. That's the compounding interest. This is from the when it first did it. Over time, you take this current index, you times that by the ohm price, that gives you your geom. Now understand the difference between ohm, which is your asset that you can trade, and that price can be going up and down. One ohm also equals one staked ohm. The staked ohm is what's gonna create that compounding interest over time. So if you're staking, you get S ohm, and that's gonna give you more ohm over time. If you just own ohm, you're just going off of the price of ohm. That's it. 
And then you can also makes it a little easier. This is their governance token is Geom. Geom can also be purchased. Uh, we talked about it in our previous video, but the reason why Geom is so special, it's also on protocols like Avalanche and Phantom, which have a lot lower fees than paying 50 or 100 bucks on the Ethereum gas fee. So if you're looking for lower entry into some Geom, you can use that through Avalanche or Phantom. And you can find those within uh, those links as well. But do remind you that Geom is basically you're getting the staking rewards. Understand that because that's the index is continuously increasing in the rebase every eight hours. And you take that number times uh, the price of Ohm to get your Geom price. So as this current index continues to increase, you're continuously getting that through the Geom price. OK, so do want to hit on a few other things with Olympus Dow, why it's also so important that uh, within the future and what they're trying to accomplish and build. They are dropping in OIP 80 tender offer framework. Basically, what this is doing is uh, helping clean the Dow. I don't care what anybody tells you. OK, this is that they basically are talking. We sympathize with these projects that are struggling to regain market confidence in certain circumstances. We believe and it will be possible to execute transactions that will help alleviate or eliminate the struggles of these forks, it's more particularly clean the Dow. OK. I'm a big on that if there's success with rebase tokens, you're going to be seeing a lot more copycats. You already saw that back in October and November, and it's just a crash and burn uh, rug pulls all over the place. If Olympus Dow gets out of this uh, tumble that it's had, you will see a chain or you will see more copycats come back out with huge APYs. Don't trust APYs. Don't trust anonymous teams, even though granted Klima and Olympus are anonymous teams, but at least they have a background of proving themselves. Um, and they had had multiple times to exit the protocol at huge high evaluations and never did it. So I think both these protocols are here to stay. Um, don't, in my opinion, trust anything else until they have a little bit more of an establishment is the best way to put it. So basically this framework uh in such a transaction was approved the forks treasury would merge with olympus and the forks community and dev team would be welcomed with open arms with the olympus community the uh advisability of such a deal would be very uh fact specific depending on factors like the size the uh, quality of the forks treasury assets as well as the profile of the community this uh, proposal uh presents a framework for Olympus to pursue such tender offers in each case with Olympus community approval. So basically, uh, Olympus is extending a hand to Klima, in my opinion. Uh, they won't say it outright, but basically it's because the market value of the project treasury on a point uh, on a po uh, per token basis is below with the backing. And that's the case with Klima currently. So they're just helping bring confidence back with Klima, which I'm totally fine with, of course, because I'm within both protocols and I believe in both protocols at the end of the day. Now, of course, Olympus Dow is more established. I, I said this in the last video. It's more of an opportunity to be successful at the end of the day. Klima has a smaller runway currently right now, but at the same time, risk your asset, more reward. You, you should know the deal. But moving on, we talked about Olympus Pro already a little bit. Here's a little bit of a visual on the Olympus Pro, which it generated $850,000 of revenue in January, the highest amount since products launch. This increased revenues that contributed to growing the Olympus Protocol assets held by the treasury by 23%. So it's gonna be a good way to keep an eye on this to see how Olympus is moving forward and how much um, revenue they're creating for the treasury because the higher amount of money going into the treasury, the more value that brings for uh, the Ohm price itself. Uh, without even other people investing within Ohm, of course the treasury itself or people buying bonds, like we talked about previously, that treasury is key to the own price. Now, also want to do hit on a amazing thing about Ohm itself is they are creating the Halls of Olympia. The Halls of Olympia will have an opportunity, I believe, it more of like a battleground and racing campaign where people can bet, I believe probably with Ohm is what I would guess. And this will be coming out in quarter three of 2022. So they're not a, they're not just a 
reserve currency. They're building other assets. I believe an NFT space potentially marketplace is in the works. That's rumor. Don't take that to the bank by any means. But they do have things in the pipeline that I think are very exciting for you if you already invested in this protocol or if you're considering it. The price, you couldn't beat a better entry point probably, you know, of course, 10 days ago or even a week ago when we discussed it previously. But even right now is a great time to enter into this protocol to give yourself a little bit more of an exposure because you're not paying the huge premium anymore, but you're still getting a 151% APY. And if you see that APY can uh, continuously drop, that's great for you, okay? Keep that in mind. You wanna see that APY drop through the protocol uh, algorithm itself. And I don't see in the foreseeable future us doing another proposal to drop the APY through the Dow. It's going to be based off itself for a very long time here, and we'll see how that stabilizes um, as time moves along in 2022. And we'll revisit it at a later date, of course. But just wanted to hit on the Halls of Olympia based off of a couple things. You'll notice that with the bonus effects of the power, they're basically can alleviate so that no one just dominates the game. This game will, you, you can check out some of the, through their uh, Twitter page, basically the open sea a little bit, but not to get too much into the NFT space within DeFi, of course, but they're just extending from their reserve currency, which is only gonna create more bullishness within this space. So just wanted to point that out. Also, I know we talked about Sherpa Library last time. I just want to hit on this again. If you're new to the space itself, especially rebase tokens, and you just see juicy APYs and you jumped into the protocol to further understand what this is, use the Sherpa Library. We'll throw the link in the description like last time. That way you can further investigate what this protocol is truly trying to do. At the end of the day, that reserve currency is trying to be what everyone uses within the DeFi space, within liquidity pools, um, back and forth, trading within ethereum and potentially other smart contract platforms it's just it can be massive if it works out so let's dive right into our second talking point today the second rebase token that we were going to discuss and that's klima dow klima dow currently uh is hurting a little bit more hasn't seen that 20 percent increase like olympus dow did it is still down and it is down not over 99 percent since its all-time high sitting right around 30 dollars but we still got a juicy apy of 7787 or 87 percent we do also just very similar to Olympus. We do want to see this uh, percentage decrease over time. Now, a couple things with this protocol that we have found out that the Klima DAO will increase um, their runway by increasing their DAO's intake on Klima to 30%. Mind you, Olympus is, I think, at 100%. So they had a very low rate of 10%. Now it's up to 30%, but that's going to increase their runway, which if you're an investor in Klima, you want that. Also, working with Olympus to get a, uh, a, a Geom pair, we already discussed that. Um, that was in that uh, proposal that we just uh, spoke on. Also, Klima uh, will be coming a chain link node. Uh, they have to pay, I think, like 40 bucks a month or something like that to become that node. But uh, that's, you know, something that's only going to help them when they create these oracles. If you don't understand what Chainlink is, we'll do, a, we'll do a video specifically on Chainlink to kind of further discuss that. And then also they do have in consideration some POOP, which is like a participation NFT, uh, which will help for those who have long-term staking. So if you're in the protocol staking for a long-term, getting POOP NFTs. And then also, which is, you know, maybe some alpha within Klima, there is a chance that there is gonna be a carbon-backed stable coin. How that's gonna work, I don't know, but that just creates a little bit of alpha or a little bit of more interest to get into this protocol or feel safer about where this protocol is heading or uh, in the long run. Also, some use cases we talked about last uh, last time is that Clean is gonna to have to create some use cases I was listening to the AMA today and some of the use cases that they discussed was, of course, like buying bonds, uh, people that can come in, buy bonds at a certain percentage and buy them cheaper than they would elsewhere. Also, um, burning offsets off chain, just meaning 
taken in that uh, those carbon bond uh, those carbon os- a- assets from Legacy Corporation and burning them off chain is going to help create more value for Klima in the long run. The corporate buys Klima uh, to their balance sheet will be a huge huge benefit once that day comes they're in talks with corporations all the time to take this especially within the legacy platforms to create that onto their balance sheets now i think if they can succeed at that that's going to be the game changer if they can get corporate uh corporations to accept claim onto their balance sheet to show for uh, carbon offsets now how they're going to do that or how they're going to be successful allowing them to you know, handle their own private keys and so on. They were saying that's that's the kind of the biggest pushback, but that's going to be the game changer. So keeping in mind, if you see that within the news, that will change the whole game within that space. So just keep that in mind. But also do want to talk about the uh, Klima Core liquidity pair. Uh, they plan on trying to, uh, everything will be routed through Klima when we're talking about uh, liquidities for the carbon back market. And if everything's routed through Klima, that's only going to just skyrocket the price of Klima in the long run. But all these things are ifs, and ands, or buts. That's why this protocol is so risky. So just wanted to kind of chat about those specific things, uh, basically because they were talks on the AMA. If you don't, if you want to further investigate these AMAs yourself, member, you'll be able to click on the links, join their discords. They have AMAs every single week discussing Klima down in general. Like I mentioned, Klima's price just above thirty dollars right now. I do want to hit on why it's important to uh, click on these links for the website because if you do find yourself trying to gr- google search clean medal they um people run ads all the time to try to steal your money so if i go click on the clean medal net which is not the protocol look very similar trying to connect my wallet and what you'll notice is you'll see right off the bat, the APY is at 26,000%, which that has changed. So if I try to go back to the homepage for Klima, it's trying to give me a generic uh, MetaMask. This isn't a MetaMask wallet. They're trying to get your password to sign in. Never sign in to things like this and also never give away your private keys. If you signed into this and all of a sudden it was like, hey, what's your private key and you type it in, you just gave someone your private key and all access to your funds. So keep in mind, um, always for those uh, those you know attacks and just kind of a security tip to never give away your private keys again and also be careful when you're google searching use uh coin gecko and then use bookmarks to always have availability to click the correct link um another bullish news on klima dow in general is klima will be uh partnering with mobilium basically allowing people to on-ramp to Klima through debit and credit card payments, which is only gonna create uh, more opportunities for people to get into this protocol because it's so difficult to on-ramp to uh, Polygon. Maybe we'll throw a video if you are watching this and you would like a video on how to get into the Klima protocol through Polygon, through the bridge, from Ethereum and all that good jazz, let me know in the comment section so that we can get that uh, going in the future. But you will have access for Klima DAO and that protocol through uh, Mobilium. I don't know, I'm probably butchering that name. But also lastly, do want to hit on that this partnership right here for toucan basically allowing for several weeks ago our launch partner toucan determined that there were value at risk of being arbitrage from the bct pool to the nct nature carbon ton pool they were preparing to launch in order to protect these values from being arbitraged and extracted from the refi ecosystem toucan coordinated with third-party liquidity providers to rebalance the composition of bct toucan's liquidity partners redeemed qual- uh, qualifying tco2s okay before we get on this because there's gonna be so much verbiage that is beyond me and over my head probably over years too this is a good partnership at the end of the day, okay? They're creating more partnerships with uh, climate-based um, protocols that are incentivized to help each other at the end of the day, and it's just gonna create more value for Klima, in my opinion, for all of us if you're invested in this project. So this is just some more information within these two protocols, why I'm still, excited for the potential of these very risky assets 
just continue doing your own research. See if they're right for you. Because at the end of the day, you should be considering at all times getting into less risky assets first, building that base out. And then if you want to find a little risk, find some APY, find some juicy protocols, then attack it. But again, what do I know? All right. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, throw them in the comments. Until next time, everyone. Peace.